Well, I don't think I'm as, as talented as some of the other guys they're bringing in here, I mean, if I'm being honest. So I just got to show that, you know, I've got a lot of heart and I play hard and I think I'm a versatile guard and I obviously got to shoot the ball well if I want to have a chance. What was the toughest part about this workout for you? Uh, just competing with the bigger bodies. You know, we did a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff down low in the post and, you know, those two big boys were working out. So, you know, it was tough to body up to them, but I enjoyed it. What part of your game will best translate into the NBA game? Uh, I think I'm versatile where I can play a couple spots. Um, you know, I can push the ball offensively. I pass the ball well and um, my shot's on the rise. So I've just got to keep getting the reps up and, and knock down that NBA range three. Is there a player, past or current, that you sort of study or emulate your game after? Uh, there's a couple guards. I like to watch, um, you know, like European guards a lot more just because I think it translates to, to the way I play. And, and if I can, and as, if I can be as, as good as them, then maybe I'll have a chance to play in the NBA. What are some of those guys? Uh, guys like uh, Juan Carlos Navarro, you know, guys that are quick, they come off screens, they can set other people up, you know, Ricky Rubio, guys that are just hard to guard even though they're not incredibly athletic. Kind of vision of the Lakers growing up kind of in Australia. So a lot of these guys around here, we ask them about that, and you know, they have their view of that, but you're from Australia. Right, no, the Lakers is a, is a household name around the world and that's why I'm so thankful to be here, you know, it's awesome just to, just to use the facilities and be in the gym and, um, you know, people at home, you know, see it on the internet and they go, wow, well, you're working out with the Lakers and so uh, it's, it's awesome. Metro State isn't exactly a, a big school, a big name. Does that present a different challenge for you to sort of make your own name out there? Well, I think it, is, it depends on the way you look at it. You know, you can say, well, I'm D2 and, you know, that's D1. Or you can say that, you know, I'm the underdog and I've got nothing to lose. And that's certainly the route I'm taking. You know, I really don't um, expect anything. I just want to go in and give it my everything and, and forget, you know, where we came from. It's just about playing on the court one-on-one. -on -one. Do any people at home think Metro is an actual state? <laughs> <laughs> it took a while to explain where I was, but um, no, <laughs> I, I got, it got it in their minds that Denver was a city. Yeah. Have you given much thought to what it would be like to play with Kobe Bryant? Uh, that would be special. Kobe's a killer, so, uh, you know, and another household name around the world. So, you know, just like uh, him or guys like LeBron, and, you know, just to be on the same team would be uh, incredible. Your Byron's a defensive-minded coach. What's your biggest strength defensively? Uh, you know, I think I'm a, a bit of a bigger body, you know, I can shape up a little more, but um, I can compete and uh, I just give it my everything, you know, I'm not as athletic as some of the other guys that we work out with, but I think I'm strong enough to hold my own. What do you got in the finals? I mean, you got some two two guys from home playing against each other. Is there a, a team you favor? I'm not sure. I'd be happy for both of them, you know, for different reasons. Bogut obviously fought through a lot of injuries and stuff like that, so I'd love to see him get one. And, and Delhi just gives these team everything he's got, so I'd love to see him win as well. It's so, an um, even kill. What makes Delhi so good? Oh, just hot. Nothing but hot. You know, he is talented, but he just gives, you know, he's so un you know, unselfish and gives his team everything, and, and he's a great role model. You've been watching the games. A lot of people have sort of termed him a dirty player. Your thoughts on that? Uh, I don't think he's dirty. You know, Delhi's going to do every single thing that he can for his team. He's always been like that, and, and that's how everyone knows him back home in Australia. You know, he's going to leave everything on the floor, and, you know, he wants to be first to the ball on the ground. So that's what he's going to do.